him on that stand. I don't care what it takes. Fight him! After eight seasons, the Grinder series finale begins now. Uncle Dean, it's so cool watching you, like, watch the show and stuff. But that doesn't make him a killer. He's mouthing the freaking words. <laughs> Pretty meta. That was a clip from The Grinder, a new show out on Fox this fall starring Rob Lowe, who joins us now to talk about that and his involvement with the charity Stand Up to Cancer. Hi, Rob. Welcome. Hi, good to be here. Great to see you. So do you play a lawyer or do you, are you a lawyer or do you play no, one No, he's on not. TV? He thinks he's a lawyer, but he's only a television lawyer. Okay. He's been to trial every week for 800 episodes. So he feels he is a lawyer. He feels he's entitled to uh, be an actual lawyer <laughs> with his with Fred Savage, who's my brother, who is one. And you guys seem to have this great on-screen chemistry. We want to play one more clip with the two of you together. It's going to be great. You're talking. Are you going to whisper? Are you going to talk to me? No, it's a stage whisper. I don't, I don't know what a stage whisper is. What's a stage whisper? It's a whisper that people can hear. That's talking. Yes, but it's more dramatic. Stage whisper. I love it. Yeah. So what was it like working with Fred? Well, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, we both have such really, really interesting characters to play. He's a normal, like, family guy, and I'm, you know, this Hollywood television icon trying to fit into his world because I'm sort of done with Hollywood and I want authenticity in my life. So do you have to go back to law school for this? He he feels he doesn't need it. Right. Like I'm saying, he's got a doubt. The grinder feels he's been grinding. Yeah. He's been grinding just fine, thank <laughs> you, right. without any fancy degrees. Uh, but but I do think at some point he will probably go back to, to law school. Well, what a fun show! It's almost like those doctor shows where they say, "I'm not really a doctor, but I, I play, play one, one on TV. television." Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. It's very meta. All right, so tell us also about this charity that you're involved with. You have partnered up with Mastercard, is that right, for Stand Up yeah. to Cancer? Yeah. I've been so fortunate to be involved with Stand Up to Cancer since its inception, and this year. MasterCard for the fifth year in a row is implementing a, a great program where all you MasterCard holders out there, if you uh, dine out or order in and you spend more than $10, MasterCard is going to earmark a, a, a portion of that to stand up to cancer with the hopes to raise $4 million between today and September 15th. That's fantastic. And how did you get involved with this specific charity? Um, well, I, like so many people, um, unfortunately, I, I, we've all had our, 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 you know, issues with cancer. I lost my, my, gra my great-grandma, my grandma, and my mother to breast cancer. Uh, on the happier note, my father is a 25-year uh, uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma survivor. Right. And it's through the kind of research that, that Stand Up to Cancer funds mm -hmm. that my father is still around and still making me crazy. Uh, well, how can we all get involved? I mean, obviously, if we have a MasterCard, that's one way of doing right. it. But are there other ways that people can help? Absolutely. Stand Up to Cancer is grassroots. Mm -hmm. And, and what, I, what I love about it is it is you and I and just everybody watching, pitching in in any way they can. We do the big... Uh, um, uh, telethon every other year. This is our off year. Right. So this is the year uh, that, that people can, can always donate, uh, but, but the MasterCard uh, program is really important. Sounds like a great, great project. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about your men's skincare line. Yes. Profiles for men. Profile for men. I, I've spent the last six years, I founded the company, I started the company, I developed the, the products myself. Um, I've learned so much about maintaining uh, myself and trying to look the best I can look. And I really wanted to offer that to other guys. Yeah. You stop me and go, dude, what's the deal? What can I do? So this is the answer. It's Profile for Men. Did you uh, work you with? You can get it online. You can get it online. Okay, You can get great. it online. We'll be in Nordstrom's in uh, in the fall. And what makes it sort of specifically for men? Is it just not as it, well? It's formula. Well, listen, it's formulated for men. Men's skin is different right. than women. We have we age differently. We not to bore you with facts. We start losing our our collagen <laughs> at at twenty. No way. Yeah. Oh. Um, our skin is thicker, and you know a lot of these lines. I feel like I'm using repackaged stuff that's actually just the same as my wife uses. Right. It's just in a different label. And and I, I, I think men deserve a line that's theirs. Absolutely. Did you work with closely with the manufacturers or dermatologists? Oh yeah. No, we've yeah. I've worked okay. I've it's taken me six years. Fantastic. Wow. And and I've been and I've been wearing the products myself for about four. Wow. But no, I was involved in the formulating and and from the ground up just trying to find the best and brightest minds and picking and choosing. I like this from that line. I'd like to do something like that. Yeah. I don't like that from this line. Great. So it's 
Profile.com. You can Profile4men.com and then in Nordstrom's in the fall. Sounds great. Rob Lowe, you've been a very busy man. Yes, so I am. Thank you so much for coming by to talk to us today. Thank you. Appreciate it.